Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we are here for our monthly Angel Scope for August 2020 for the sign of Scorpio. So before I begin, I'd just like to remind everyone that um, who's new to my channel and um, anyone who's been watching my channel for a while, that the I've been offering my angel readings, uh, my half hour angel reading for $77 for a full hour reading. Um, if you um, would like to receive that offer, you would go to my um, web page, theangelschool.com on the services page, which you'll find in the description link below. And you would just click on the half hour reading. When you submit the payment, you will receive a payment confirmation email. And along with it, it will um, note that you are receiving the special offer. Okay. I get back to you within 24 hours on a business day, not weekends. So um, make sure you're just aware of that and, you know, be patient with me getting back to you um, within that time. Um, so if, and make sure you, you know, aware of my office hours, which are from Monday to Friday, uh, 12 noon to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, and the other news I just wanted to let you know about as well, just in case you're new, um, I also post on YouTube weekly angel messages. Um, as well as daily card messages, which are written uh, as a post on YouTube and on Facebook. You can find my Facebook page link below. All right, so let's take a deep breath. And I'm seeing mushrooms, which is my symbol for abundance and the fairies. So let's see um, what information is coming through for you. So just take a deep breath. And really breathe into your heart space and really connect in with the enormous amount of love and light. And that's good. It seems that your energy is just sort of relaxed and expanded. When I see a tree, I see, um, depending on the width of the tree, it tells me how well your connection between you and your higher self is being channeled. But they keep writing the word fog so that you might be dealing with some confusion um, or that there's something that you can't see clearly. And um, perhaps it, you, whatever this is, and I feel like it's something that's creating this fog. Not that you have this, but like with from within you but something is creating it for you something because they show me sort of a disconnect in the trunk like you know the the, the it just separates um in the middle of the trunk and so there is something that's interfering and creating this confusion this could be that you are um that you're not you know speaking up um and or asking the the questions um, so that you get you have the facts. This could be that you are torn about a decision, and that that decision is not in alignment with your soul, but it's something that you feel uh, that that you're pondering out of necessity, out of um, scarcity or lack. And uh, as much as we, you know, you, we want you to have the things that you need and, you know, something that can provide that for you. We still want it to be in alignment with your soul because that kind of disconnect, that creating a fog, that, that confusion will just only continue to expand. And you don't want to make a decision that's just going to take you down a road where you feel so disconnected from who you truly are that you're forever feeling lost. That is a, a feeling that turns into a sense of loneliness, no matter how many people are surrounding you or how successful you are, you end up feeling alone. 
and it makes you desperate and it makes you do things out of greed and um, you cannot feed greed it doesn't it doesn't uh, satisfy greed there's no satisf uh, satisfaction for greed because the premise of greed is an illusion and it's not really looking for anything substantial or real it's just looking to avoid and it's looking for that quick fix so um, this is something that you want to be aware of. Now, it, when I was just shuffling the cards, I kept seeing couples kissing, but I noticed I saw like a star in the, the cheek. And this might be sort of about, for me, when I see couples kissing in my drawings and my third eye, it's sort of like, it could represent love or soulmate, but it could also represent um, you connecting with something important to you that you're connecting with yourself, okay? Um, and I noticed that the heights of the, the, of the couples were different. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that in real life, but when I'm looking at my visions, they are all are symbolic. There is a the soul language and, and, and that kind of a detail means something in the, um, the soul realm. Um, and so I feel like there is this, sort of imbalance in the, the relationship that you have with yourself in the, in the world, right? You remember the world is, the things that are around you are a reflection of you. And so if you're feeling, um, I'm saying the word happiness, but you know, if you feel like you're, you're not ever quite happy or that there's some kind of like you feel you know, either you feel like you're inferior or you feel so, like you're superior, like you're better than everybody else. Um, these things, I, I'm not quite sure which it is, but it just tells me in the way that you relate to yourself and in your relationships, there is uh, something's off. And it's a reason why you're not getting that happiness because whatever that imbalance is, it's based on illusions. And the writing manifestation, for some of you, this might be about something you're trying to manifest and something is not balanced. Okay, but let's take a look at the card. Now, this is going to be your archangel for the month and a message. Wow. Just pulled that card for the sign before you, Libra. So it's back here again. It's the archangel Michael. And, you know, archangel Michael is the one who really talking about integrity and being in alignment and being... Um, honest and respectful and, or respected and all that stuff. This is the archangel, okay, to, to work with. And so um, Archangel Michael is assuring you that if you make the right choice, that you're going to be on top of the world in the way that you're really desiring. But it may be that your vision right now needs altering, needs some kind of correction. I'm saying the word obsession. So there's something that you're obsessing about that's creating this imbalance, that's creating this disconnect with yourself so that you can't really connect with your true power. And it's like there's a gate, there's a, I see two gateways and they're different. One is a square, like a regular door. Um, and another one is sort of like um, an arch, um, like the Roman arch. And so they are very different arches. Um, usually the gateway is sort of like a bridge, um, the one that's sort of like our doors, just the, the, the rectangle shape, the square shape at the top. And the um, arch is more like um, a dimensional shift. So in that arch way, they show an umbrella. In that square, they show a guillotine um, that could drop. So I feel like like the bridge is, is like something that a short shift within a dimension. But the way it's been shown here is that you're, it's like you're trying to take a shortcut. You're looking for shortcuts. Um, I mean, you may not want to choose a shortcut, but you feel really forced to think about the shortcut. The, the, the thing that's in alignment with you, the thing that may take a little bit longer, 
is going to be more secure because umbrellas for me is about you being covered and being safe. And they're writing it out, the word for in front of me, safe. So as much, if you trust the universe, if you entrust the integrity of the universe and and trust Archangel Michael's guidance um, and understanding that you will make the right choice that will take you um, on that journey that will help you to find real security that you're looking for. You're looking for sustainable security and that immediate gratification is not going to do it for you. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the card. I mean, it seems like there's more um, <laughs> that's there, but this card is, let's see what the number is there. Seven. Okay. This is the chariot card. And it says, be open to success. It says, this is a message from your guardian angel. And, you know, just to note, I haven't talked about this with the other readings, but, um, you know, if you ever want to connect in with your guardian angels, just see yourself surrounded in white light. Or if you just want to work with all of your angels, just surround yourself in gold light. Okay. Um, so but if you really want to specifically connect in with your your angel, guardian angel, uh, connect in with the white energy and surround yourself with that white light. And just sit and be, relax and be calm and meditate. But the, 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 the chariot is about uh, being determined. Now, the thing is, is that the flip side of the chariot could be that you are so determined that you're willing to do whatever it takes. That's not the kind of balance that we're looking for. <laughs> um, you know, you want to make good choices. You want to be as equally devoted and determined to um, do, to follow your heart and to do what resonates with you, to do what's in alignment with you. You know, uh, to really focus on integrity and don't compromise that. So it says, look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. Ooh, see that? <laughs> your balance, you've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise lead headed your way. But don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. Okay, so this is, message is very clear. And, um, you know, you, it, this is a card of being open to success. It may not be what, you, what your short-term rewards might get for you, appear to give you right away. But this is something that's really that true success. Okay? So... Um, hang in there, you know, and don't buckle, okay? Don't buckle to, don't buckle to what, what's not the best thing for you, all right? So listen to your heart. Do, you know what resonates with you. Choose that opportunity for yourself. That will really satisfy you. You, divert, you deserve satisfaction and you can have it. And you can manifest it if you believe in yourself. Okay? So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And thank you for joining us. And have a beautiful month.